My name is Omar Mualam, and I'm the son of a baron, a burger baron. My parents ran one of these random classic diners you'll find all across Alberta, just like this one I'm at right now. But I bet you don't know the story of the Burger Barons. This franchise is not really a franchise at all. It's a meme. My family's restaurant and virtually all Burger Barons that have ever existed are actually bootlegs of a 1950s fast food chain that was invented by an entrepreneurial American as the McDonald's of the North. They don't pay franchise fees, agree on menu items, pricing, branding, and as far as anyone can tell, nobody is in charge. The only thing that they seem to really have in common is this legendary mushroom burger. Mm. Oh, and one other thing. All of them, every single one of them, are Lebanese immigrants, just like my parents. So what's going on here? How did a loose network of Arab immigrants become a cabal of burger empresarios? And do they even have a future with all the competition and foodie trends going on? That's the story of The Last Baron, a TV documentary premiering on CBC this September. But there is so much more to the story than we could possibly tell in just 45 minutes. There's this story of a burger baron abandoned in a farmer's field over 20 years ago. There's these Lebanese brothers accused of telling people that they were the originators. It infuriates me. It's just not true. It's not even close to it. It's just an out and out lie and I don't like it. And there's the extraordinary lives that so many modern day barons left behind in Lebanon. Before I went to Canada, I was a captain with the East Airlines flying the heavy jets Boeing 707. And because of the war, I had to start a new life. And we are down in the basement, and the bomb comes in the building and collapsed on us. It was completely destroyed. That's why I'm asking for your help to back a 90-minute version of the movie that we can take to film festivals around the world, to indie movie theaters, and eventually to streaming platforms like Netflix and Prime. Making movies is expensive. Our first goal will allow us to expand the story with the footage that we already have and pay for clearances on archival footage. Wait, you have to pay for that? Yeah, only like 100 bucks per second. Our second goal allows us to go a little further. It allows us to rehire our crews from Canada, California, and Lebanon for a few more days, animate more of the Burger Baron's storied history, and shoot some really cool 1950s reenactments on 16 millimeter film. Our third goal lets us give the documentary a proper marketing campaign with funds for a publicist, festival submissions, and a promotional music video for an original song by the illegitimate crew. Yo, there's too many, too many chefs in the kitchen. Soon as but when it comes to crowdfunding, there really is no such thing as too many chefs. Every dollar will help us tell this funny, heartwarming, and truly one-of-a-kind story in full. The expanded film will include interviews with experts on Lebanese business culture, hardcore super fans, and yes, an exclusive with the infamous Twitter parody account. Plus, you'll learn about the next generation of bootleg barons trying to keep this Arab Canadian tradition alive. There are perks. For $30, you can attend the launch of The Last Barons TV premiere. For $50, you'll attend the launch party for the feature version sometime next year. We're offering other sweet perks too, like a limited edition movie poster. But if you really want to support The Last Baron, we got premium level perks, like a chance to model in our 1950s recreations. Or we'll interview you as a super fan for the movie. But if you really, really want to support us, there is an opportunity to be listed in the credits and IMDb as a producer. And if everybody pulls together and helps us reach that $70,000 goal, we will include the legendary mushroom burger sauce recipe. That's it. This is, this is the famous mushroom sauce. This is the famous mushroom sauce. There's not much to it. So I hope that you'll support us in making this feature documentary into a reality. Thank you.